All right, uh, this video is going to kind of demonstrate how you should set your props up if you're using multiple strings on the same prop, if you are using them as a single thing in X Lights. Uh, this is a really odd example. It's candy canes, but candy canes are one giant model when you make them in X Lights, as long as you set them up right. You put in how many nodes are in each hook and the lead between them, which would be the dead pixels. And in this case, it's going to be 50 with six dead leads in between each. Now, uh, the astute of you with math will have realized that that means it's not going to end evenly at the end of a hook. Uh, and also, uh, a lot of the strings, the ones that are more than 100, and definitely the ones that are more than 200, are all split. You can get a 250 string in a Pro device that is not a split string, but uh, they are not the norm, they are the exception, although I do have some of them. But these are the clear uh, 125 by two strings. So when you do something like this, you wanna make sure that you always go in the exact same order all the way across, and you start at the first light in the string. A split string, even though it's split in half, one of them is the first string and the other is the second. And there's no obvious way of telling them apart unless you do it in software. Um, Artnet to Twinkly allows me to identify the very first bulb. And uh, I apologize for the shape of this, but it was on another prop and I pulled it out. So starting with this one, this is number one. And I did the same thing with this one. So I'm gonna move this over. When I hook this up, you will see the very first light light up in it. which actually I'm not exactly sure that's the first one, but the first candy cane will have the first light light up. Okay, that's actually the first candy cane. But it's the first, then we go up and down around, go to the next one, up, down, around, go to the next one, up, down, around, go to the next, up, down. I run out of lights right there. So I want to continue the very next one at the very next spot. And what that means is I'm going to identify that one with my program using the live output. And that's that one. And that one is going in that hole right there. And I'm going to go ahead and do that so I don't lose track of it again. My little method of securing them is not great for the candy canes, although it worked great in the uh, tree model and the uh, tombstones, but it's good enough. They don't fall out, but they're kind of hard to put in. Anyway, there you have it. I have nine of these to set up. So when I'm done, since that's halfway through one of them, I will have nine candy canes. And if you're doing your mega tree with individual strands, you want to do it the same way. When you come to the end of the first one, you want to start in the same spot. Always start with the first light of the next one. Keep going. And then as long as your channels per device are in order, you can just sequence that as one big thing with the channels going in order and everything will just work. So this is the sub models for the candy canes I set up. Um, you'll notice that just part of it is highlighted. I have sub model two selected, sub model one, and you'll notice the bottoms aren't lit. So I set these models up with six extra lights on them because that's how long the leads are. And what you want to do is in this method, if you're going to use the candy cane model, is you will want to make them longer than they need to be, and then you create submodels that are the actual size, and then you're going to sequence to the submodel, and of course you can name them. You say, um, let's see here, K9, because that's actually where my K9 is, and this will be K8, and so on. So you add the submodels to your sequence, you never use the candy cane model and then you group the, the submodels 
and then your your group of submodels would sequence to this part and then this leftover area which is just there for the dead lights wouldn't be sequenced to now the trick to doing this though is you have to also have dead lights in the front so when you populate your model you have to start on like the sixth one and leave like dead lights in the front and the reason you have to do that is because this very last light that's lit has to be the last light of the of the model uh, or sorry of the strings that you're lighting if if you don't have the very last one lit or if you're not sequencing to the very last one it won't light any of it that's just how twinkly is it has to receive that very last channel or it won't output any of it so I actually made a mistake when I did mine and I started at the beginning so I was not able to use this method so what I did was I I output I uh, created separate models for each so let's Okay, so over here, you'll see these are showing up as separate models. These are not sub-models. These are uh, custom models I made for each candy cane. And then you'll see that I have a dead pixel section after it. So if you go in order, my very first channel that I assigned in my program was, to candy canes was 20,081. And then that took up 150 channels because there are 50 nodes. And I had six dead pixels, so that's 18 channels. And that is actually a separate thing over here. Now the problem with doing it this way is these actually have to actually have to be in your in your sequence because you have to output black to the last channel. If you don't output to that last channel, like I said, it won't send any of them. And uh, in this case, these were all hooked to a pro controller. So that shut off these, it shut off these, and it shut off this, 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 and this. Because all of these are being ran by one controller. Because I didn't have that very last light output to, it shut all of them off. It's just um, the way Twinkly sets her stuff up. It has to receive that last light. And then it outputs to all of them. So anyway, there's your two options. You need to make separate custom models. Or you can use the candy cane model with submodels. Which one you prefer to use is up to you.